Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a dramatic twist reminiscent of a phoenix rising from the ashes, the iconic B-1B Lancer, affectionately known as Lancelot, is poised to make a triumphant return to the skies. Recently, the United States Air Force confirmed the arrival of Lancelot, bearing the serial number 85-0081, at Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma, heralding the commencement of a meticulous regeneration process before rejoining the operational bomber fleet. Lancelot's journey to resurrection is as storied as its illustrious service history. Originally crafted as the 41st production Lancer in the Lot 4 production batch, 85-0081, previously known by the monikers Equalizer and Aftershock, experienced a tumultuous incident with a nose gear collapse at Diego Garcia in December 2004, leading to the grounding of the B-1 fleet for comprehensive inspection. Despite the setback, Lancelot persevered, continuing its mission until its retirement to the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, AMARG, at Davis-Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona, in March 2021. The decision to revive Lancelot stems from the exigency to replenish the fleet size following the loss of a bomber in a tragic engine fire incident during routine maintenance at Dias Air Force Base, Texas, in 2022. With Congress mandating the maintenance of operational readiness levels, the retrieval of retired aircraft from Amarg became imperative, with Lancelot being one of the chosen few to undergo the regeneration process. The restoration endeavor embodies a collaborative effort among various units of the U.S. Air Force, epitomizing the ethos of teamwork and dedication. Spearheaded by the B-1 System Program Office, SPO, and facilitated by the expertise of DIA's 7th Bomb Wing, Tinker's 76th and 569th Maintenance Squadrons, and the 309th AMARG, the regeneration process promises to breathe new life into Lancelot. Integral to the revival is the comprehensive maintenance and upgrades slated for Lancelot at Tinker Air Force Base. Beyond routine servicing, the bomber will undergo avionics enhancements aimed at bolstering connectivity and operational efficiency, ensuring it remains at the forefront of aerial warfare capabilities. The B-1B Lancer, a formidable heavy bomber crafted by Boeing North America, boasts awe-inspiring specifications befitting its legendary status. Powered by potent General Electric F-101, GE-102 turbofan engines, each generating over 30,000 pounds of thrust, Lancelot embodies sheer power and agility. With a wingspan extending from 137 feet when forward to 79 feet when swept aft, and a length of 146 feet coupled with a height of 34 feet, the B-1B commands attention wherever it flies. Beyond its imposing physical stature, the B-1B is renowned for its remarkable range and versatility. Equipped with colossal fuel tanks capable of holding up to 265,274 pounds of fuel, Lancelot boasts intercontinental capabilities, capable of traversing vast distances with unparalleled efficiency. Armed to the teeth with an array of ordnance options, including 500-pound Mk-82 bombs or 2,000-pound Mk-84 bombs, as well as naval mines, the B-1B stands as a formidable force multiplier in modern warfare scenarios. Manned by a crew of four, Comprising the aircraft commander, co-pilot, and two combat systems officers, the B-1B embodies the pinnacle of strategic aerial warfare capabilities. With an estimated value of $317 million per aircraft, the B-1B represents a cornerstone of American military might since achieving initial operating capability in October 1986. As the saga of Lancelot's revival unfolds, the U.S. Air Force reaffirms its unwavering commitment to maximizing the capabilities and availability of its Lancers until their scheduled retirement in 2037. With several retired B-1s still awaiting potential recommissioning at Amarg, the legacy of this iconic bomber is poised to endure, standing as a testament to the resilience and dedication of those who ensure its continued service to the nation. That's all for now, see you later.